Henry Newtown Leisure Centre. Welcome to the 21st century. Oh dear. Macrobat, Dwayne speaking. How may I help you? Hello, it's me again. Hello, Mr. Britis. <laughs> right, now, I've configured my system memory, added RAM drive command line at the MS-DOS prompt, specified a path of 32470 kilobytes capacity, default 512 sector size, copied the expanded memory emulator, 0.486, and allocated 192 handles and 238 fast alternate register sets, reserving 177 kilobytes for buffered direct memory access. So, what seems to be the problem? Well, I got a bit of donut down my scroll key. <laughs> Do I just leave it there, or poke it out with a pencil? <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Hope you all had a good week. Oh, it's so good to be back, Mr Brittas. So what's the big surprise there, Mr Brittas? Yeah, we noticed you changed the locks. <laughs> locks? We don't have locks anymore, Julie. We've got time-instigated, totally integrated security. We've got titties. <laughs> from today, these doors are programmed to open at 7.30am precisely and close at 9.30pm precisely. Not a second sooner, not a second later. And they're due to open in exactly five seconds from now. <laughs> right, if I can have your attention, everyone, please, for one minute. Up until last week, all of us at this centre have been groping around brainlessly in a fetid primeval swamp. Oh, thanks, Mr Bridges. We enter, please. <laughs> As from today, we crawl onto dry land, sprout legs and learn to walk. Hey, did you look up the night nurse? You know what happened to Paul on the road to Damascus? Well, it happened to me at the Basingstoke Software Show. <laughs> Pleased to announce that everything in the centre, from salaries to the steam flow in the sauna, everything has been computerised. Heating, lighting, the lot. Carol, come here. Now, in the dark old days, when someone came in wanting to go for a swim, what happened? Well, he'd give us one pound fifty, Miss Bruce, and we'd give him a ticket. Exactly. Out of the ark. As from today, <laughs> this is what will happen. Right, name. Age, <laughs> male, female, <laughs> swimming standard, foot or mouth infection, <laughs> lane swimming or splash around, goggles needed, shampoo, <laughs> use centre before, daily papers taken, <laughs> two most recent holidays. <laughs> Booking complete. Well, that seems to take a while. Carol, into the envelope, please. Your ticket, madam. Do I get air miles? <laughs> what is more, we have an advanced booking facility of three years, so if someone <laughs> runs a tight sort of diary, wants to book in a game of squash for, say, 2.30pm, October the 25th, 1999, <laughs> they only have to ask. Yes, there's a court free. <laughs> So, the pool is at a pleasant 72 degrees, which is automatically set to adjust by a maximum of 5 degrees Fahrenheit, either way, at the height of winter and summer. Now, Linda. Yes, Miss Bridges. A swimmer comes up to you while you're on duty and asks for a float. What do you do? <laughs> New procedure. <clears throat> right, you go into your swimming pool file, click on equipment, click on floats, there, total stock 360, units available 360, click OK, enter, float order slip number 0001. What could be simpler? Just taking the float? No, oh, yes, but what if someone's reserved a float over the phone in advance, then comes to the centre to find out they've all been given out in the meantime? All 360 of them. Think about it, Linda. The entire Whitbury Junior School turn up unannounced, plus our Saturday morning Turtles Club. And somebody wants to make a scale model of Atlantis out of polystyrene. Good one, Tim. Didn't think of that. <laughs> Aggravated psoriasis of the elbow and knee joint. Right, do you need any towels, Colin? Oh, and of course, ringworm. Ringworm. <laughs> any towels? And a little bit of dermatitis down on the end. Dermatitis. Underline. 
Any towels, Colleen? And I sometimes get that flaky dandruff, you know, like those little toy snow things. You shake them and go... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Colleen. Can we have someone else to volunteer to be a customer for the tanning bed, please? I've only got ten lines for pre-existing skin conditions. <laughs> right! And now for the piece de resistance. Timothy, you've arranged to play squash with Gavin, you're all set and raring to go, when suddenly he stands you up because he's decided to go out with his girlfriend. <laughs> Course of action. Well, there are a number of options, Mr Brittus. Uh, tampering with his brakes, electrocuting him with his CD player. No, you play with yourself. <laughs> Virtual reality squash. You may be at home. You may not want to go out into the traffic. All you do is dial the centre on your own computer and you can be playing squash in the comfort of your own sofa. But, Mr Brittis, I thought the whole point of squash was to get fit and lose weight. Yeah, oh, well, in that case, all you do is go to the virtual reality fitness salon. There you go. Traction machine, bike, sauna. The choice is yours. In five years from now, you won't even need to set foot in the centre. <laughs> this is all very impressive, Mr Brutus, but what if there's a power cut or it breaks down? Yeah! We have a standby generator and a backup system. And what if they break down? Well, we have a backup generator and a standby system. <laughs> but the chances, Tim, of that happening are about the same as my winning the lottery. And where did all the money for this come from, Mr Brutus? From the lottery. <laughs> £27,892, to be precise, plus £13,450 from the European Sports Facilities Capital Improvement Fund. A windfall that will prove to be a turning point in the operational history of this centre. And the money will be totally squandered. <laughs> Lucky Ron. I've let him oversee everything, from the software contracts to buying the hardware. He's even tried to save money by going on some cockamamie course and installing it himself. So, fingers crossed for a catastrophe. The Sports Council Lottery Committee will want his head on a platter. <laughs> what the... Gordon! Councillor Druggies, what a pleasant surprise. What the hell's this barrier doing here? I can't get in. The staff car park is now programmed only to accept swipe cards from staff, customers with special needs or VIPs. What am I then? Nothing yet. <laughs> I haven't done a code for you yet. You'll have to be a temporary visitor. Dial 4921. Six double seven four. <laughs> Three. Get a move on. We've been here since a quarter to ten. Please try. I can't remember. Think. March 1976, I think. March 1976. Bronze swimming certificate. <sighs> now, do you need towels? No. Goggles? No. Float? No. Shampoo? Oh, I, I suppose so. <laughs> Dry, normal or greasy hair? What? <laughs> Dry, normal or greasy hair? Greasy. <laughs> greasy? <laughs> now, how long do you intend to spend in the pool? I don't know. Well, 10, 20, 30, 45 minutes? 30 minutes. Now, do you want a lane swim or a general splash? <laughs> lane swim! Crawl, breaststroke, butterfly, or back. <laughs> I don't know. I want to do a bit of everything. Crawl, breaststroke, butterfly, or back. Crawl! Oh, no, no, wait. Breaststroke. Sorry, it's too late. Oh, dear. Pool's full. But, <laughs> but I can sell you a standby ticket. A standby ticket? Oh, yes. Certainly, madam. No problem. <laughs> so, that's Mrs. Phillips. For a standby ticket, swim session in lane two with a sachet of shampoo for greasy hair. Now, if you'd like to wait over there, I'll call you if there's a cancellation. Right, next. I just want to book a badminton court, please. Right. I just have to look up the badminton booking code. <laughs> Can you hurry? I'm trying, I'm trying. Look, my life belt. My wife's drowning. Drowning. That's under emergencies. Sports Council Lottery Committee rep will be here tomorrow at 12 sharp for an initial inspection. Everything will be going okay with the new system by then? It is already, Councillor. 
No teething problems? Not a squeak. Watch this. <clears throat> Oh, there it is. Oh, thank God. Oh, no, it's gone to children's parties. Oh. <laughs> oh, um, are you busy, Colin? Not really, Mrs. Britness. All seems to take care of itself. I don't really seem to have anything to do anymore. You couldn't help me for a moment, could you? There's this thing in my room. I can't get out. It's all right, Councillor. Your temporary visitor's pass expired two minutes ago. I'm going to give you a new number. What is it? It's a computer. Yeah, I know that. Why do I need one? I was going to put my begonia there. We've all got them now. In fact, I think he's set up your counselling file already. What? Let's have a look. I think you just press counselling. Mm. Yes, there we are. Question one. Are you claustrophobic, slash, recently widowed, slash, depressed, slash, impotent, yes, no? I think you can just choose one, Mrs. Britters. <laughs> depressed. A bit or very? I see. Are you contemplating suicide? Hmm. Gas, tablets, carbon monoxide, <laughs> bodily wounding. Um, I'll go for gas. Gas, gas, it's a good choice. Hmm. Now, have you closed windows, extinguished all naked flames, <laughs> informed gas board to settle final account? Hold on a minute. This is for people to fill in themselves, isn't it? Where, where do I come in? Do it yourself, counselling. We'll soon see about that. <laughs> oh, please have a children's party. No, well, I don't even have any kids. I can lend you some. <laughs> it would help me so much. I can't seem to get out of this file. Look, I just want a game of badminton. Look, I tell you what. Book the children's party. Then book the badminton, and then I'll cancel the children's party afterwards. All right, all right, fine, anything. So, you booked for 45 children, two helpers, one puppet show, chicken dinosaurs and jelly to follow, on the 5th of July, 1998. Right, now can I book my badminton? I have to have a £50 deposit for the party first. <laughs> Did I see a set of golf clubs in here earlier? Yeah, in the bin. Right, thanks. What are you doing, Julie? Christmas cards. These are for the people who have used the leisure centre ones. These are for the ones who came back. And this one's for Mr Jones. Who? The season ticket holder. I just found out how to delete a file. <laughs> Anyone need any help with the roster? Computer's done it. The cleaning rotor. Computer's done it. Actually, Colin, you can help me do the vending machine restock. That's what I like to hear. Something to get my teeth into. Right. <laughs> I'll press enter and you can tear off the sheet of paper when it comes out. <laughs> of course, this is just the thin end of the wedge, you know. What do you mean? Well, now that everything's on computer, soon Brittles will only need himself and someone to water the plants. Because we're all going to be made redundant. Mr Brittles would never get rid of us. I know. Then tell me this. Why is it that that computer can take bookings for the next three years, but can only do the staff roster for the next two weeks? Yeah. You think about that. Right, everyone. I'd just like to say that counselling is now available from me in the utility room for any of your personal problems, such as bereavement or redundancy. <laughs> oh, but do try not to get post-traumatic stress syndrome, because I spilt coffee over that page. <laughs> I don't want to play badminton anymore. Tough. I want to go home. Look, it's not my fault, it's this wretched thing. Oh, that's what they all say. People always blame the computers. What? Here, let me have a go. You've got to close down all your files and applications before you open new ones. Haven't you got a sandpit to go to? <laughs> hey, is everything all right, Carol? No. There's nothing wrong with the computer, it's the people who use it. So, you're a bit of an expert, are you? I've hacked about in my time. Yeah. Do these things ever go wrong? They can get jammed if a virus gets in. Really? And how exactly does a virus get in? <laughs> so is that clear? I need an uninterrupted 15 minutes at this main terminal. Half now, the rest on completion. 
Did you say you once got into a bank? Southern Provincial. Transferred 20 million from their investment fund into my dad's bank in the Caymans. Earned a couple of weeks' interest and put it back. They still haven't found out. <laughs> Can we get a move on? I've got my mock chemistry at two. <laughs> Colin, Tim's called an emergency meeting in the staff room. Redundant. <laughs> Redundant. <laughs> If we can convince Britus that the system is unreliable, then maybe it'll bring him to his senses. Now, this boy Danny's got this special disc thing that he says can jam the system. All we have to do is get Britus away from his office for 15 minutes until the signal is given. We'll never get him away from his desk. He's been chained to that PC ever since it arrived. Any bright ideas? Mr Britus? What is it, Gabby? Um, I was just wondering... Uh, Gordon, if you'd like to go for a drink. What? Well, we haven't had a drink together in quite a while. Gavin, we haven't been for a drink together in six years. No, well, I just suddenly thought, why not? Just the two of us take time out for a while. Gavin, did Alexander the Great stop off for a gin and tonic when he was conquering Persia? Oh, please, Gordon, it's just that we don't see as much of you as we used to, and, well... I'd like to see more of you. <laughs> that is very touching, Gabby. Now, all right, then. Oh, thank you. I'll book it in 12.30 Thursday fortnight. <laughs> Just a swift half, mind you. This place means everything to me, Mrs Brittus. It's like a second home. Oh, it's much more than that, Colin. Is it? It's your whole life. And now you're being thrown on the scrap heap. Well, it certainly looks that way. It's like being snatched away from your mother's breast. Really? There you were, all <laughs> snug and cosy, sloshing around in your amniotic fluid, and now you're being slung out into the cold. Well, I wouldn't put it quite like that. Resentment is perfectly natural, Colin. But I don't feel resentful. What Mr Britters is doing is probably very good for the sense. You may be stoical on the surface, Colin, but deep down you're a bubbling cauldron of resentment. Am I? Very dangerous. <laughs> Why don't you book yourself in for my next anger weekend? £180, three nights bed and breakfast, including Sunday night karaoke. <laughs> right, that's your anger out of the way. Now let's deal with your depression. <laughs> Hello, Macro Bites. Dwayne, please. Dwayne's sick? That's funny. He was right as rain two minutes ago. Mr Britters, come quickly. What is it, Linda? Fire. Fire? Where? Uh, in the staff room. Come. Well, I didn't hear any alarms, Linda. Still, better safe than sorry, eh? <clears throat> there you go. All sorted, Linda. It's no use bottling it up, Colin. But I'll get over it, won't I? No, you won't. This is major trauma on a par with bereavement. Now, let's see. Here we are. You're going to go through the following stages. One, shock. Two, <laughs> numbness. Three, tingling, <laughs> partial loss of consciousness and paralysis of the limbs. Oh, no, hang on, that's decompression. <laughs> Stop fighting it, Colin, let it out. <laughs> fifteen minutes. How the heck am I going to keep him busy in here for fifteen minutes? Oh, come on, Julie, I'm sure you'll think of something. Anyway, I'll give you three buzzes on your intercom when I'm done, all right? Oh, God. Hello, Macrobite. Macrobite helpline is now closed. <laughs> Our offices are open from 8 to hey? 6. <laughs> Mr. Britters? Julie, we've got a web. Fill my box. <laughs> Get in here now. <clears throat> Better make this quick, Julie. I'm spring cleaning me back up foes. <laughs> <laughs> So far, so good. Oh. <laughs> How long to go? Almost done. It won't take much longer. Oh. <laughs> Julie! I'm sorry, Mr. Britus. This is a turn up for the book. Oh, Mr. Britus. Six years I've been in the office next to you, watching the way you label your folders and sharpen your pencil. It sends a tingle down your spine. I'm very flattered, Julie, but. <laughs> I just couldn't help it. It's having the baby, Mr. Britus. It's made me all confused. Did I choose the right man? What am I doing with my life? And all the while, there you are, 
So strong. <laughs> so decisive. <laughs> so... It's all right, I'm over it now. <laughs> The view of the Sports Council Lottery Committee is that it's a pretty hefty donation for a municipal leisure centre. You're sure that this Mr Brittus knows what he's doing? Well, I've left everything to him. He was very insistent on overseeing the whole thing himself. <laughs> Just a moment, he's had the parking computerised. Oh dear. Teething problems. I told you, I'm okay! It's off to the counselling room for you, young lady. Everything all right, Carol? No, it's not, Mr. Bridges! Learning curve, Carol, learning curve! <laughs> Do us a postnatal, will you, Hell? She'll sort you out. <laughs> Excellent. Pool temperature's 193. Air temperature 142. Marvellous. Hello, what's this? Tim Whistler, salary. £3.17. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. Let me see. Gavin Featherly, salary. 227,640 quid. <laughs> I thought you were just going to jam the system. <laughs> was it? Must have been the way it was installed. Well, we'll have to shut it down completely. So we'll have to go into override in the main terminal. <laughs> Oh, whatever you do, don't let him back up, OK? Right. Oh, stop it! <laughs> Sorry about that delay, gentlemen. Member of staff with a bit of a personal problem. And you can't just bung in a new floppy disk, eh? Nah. <laughs> anyway, this is a very <clears throat> proud day for Whitbury Newtown Leisure Centre. Please, this way. Gentlemen, come through and gaze at the future. <laughs> Teething problems, I see. I'm sure Mr Brittus knows what he's doing. Oh, Typical! On. You installed 30k's worth of high-tech equipment and the light bulbs start going. <laughs> Mr Brittus, don't go up there! Why not? Because... Yes? I want you to stay here, Mr Brittus. I miss you so much! Yeah, not you as well. Oh, Mr Brittus, don't leave me! We've got to spend the afternoon together. Carol, this is going to have to wait. I've got to show Mr Driscoll and Councillor Drug at the nerve centre. <laughs> Override. Override. Got it. Oh, sugar. What? He's made it secure. What does that mean? We need a password. Well, we don't know. It's only Britus knows it. We'll have to go by trial and error. Any combination of letters or digits. Max, 15 letters. Usually something personal, wife's name, pet, birthday, can't think. <laughs> Helen! No! Oh, yeah. uh, Whitbury! No! Uh, <laughs> well, try his car number. <laughs> F299NPA. Oh. oh. <laughs> I think I've seen enough. You won't say for coffee and biscuits? Please, Julie. No, I only did it to get him out of his office. No! I mean, he's not unattractive, is he? Yes! <laughs> so Brutus was left to oversee the whole project alone. Yep. And you let him install it himself? Yep. No technical backup. No executive support. I'm afraid we're going to have to investigate your council's handling of this affair. What? Well, Mr. Brutus is obviously overstretched, and there was a failure in giving him the necessary human resources. Drive on. Carol! <laughs> Carol! Simple, no flowers. The only music I want is Jerusalem. And then play Mr. Brittus's Christmas foot hygiene speech from 1992, which I've got on the set. <laughs> As for my ashes, I'd be grateful if they could be mixed half and half with mulching manure and then used to plant a memorial bush. <laughs> well, what are we 
his favourite things. Oh, uh, try Tintin. He's got loads of Tintin books. Oh. Chicken dance act. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Top Gear. He likes that. Yes. Thunderclap Newman. Uh, yes. Oh, no. Uh, uh, Jeff Tracy. Yes. Jeff no. oh, Bambi. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it was the scene where his mother got shot. He went out to look for it in the snow. I never got over that scene. I'm human too, you know. Mr. Brittis. So, sabotage, eh? Oh. oh Mr. Brittis, all we were trying to do was... Don't I know you? I played in the chess tournament here last year. That's right. Three Russian masters stormed out in a sulk. <laughs> Mr. Brittis, we did it because... Yes? Because we were worried about our jobs. Mr. Brittis, please, stay with me. We don't spend any time together anymore. It's all right, Carol, you can stop now. I'll let him a tiger suit. No! <laughs> yeah, so I wondered why everyone had become so affectionate today. Wait a minute. It's this, isn't it? This is what's come between us. We did rather feel you'd forgotten us, Mr. Bruce. Well, there's only one thing for it. I'll cancel the contract. What? It was on four weeks' trial anyway. You mean our jobs are safe? I took my eye off the ball, didn't I, Timothy? Look at this. A human being. Can see. Can hear. Feel. <laughs> laugh. Cry. Sulk. Clean the pool. Do Kermit impressions at children's parties. Doesn't need downloading at the end of the day. And doesn't pick up any nasty viruses. You show me a computer that can match that. Oh, I must go and tell Colin he'll be over the moon. No, wait. Mr. Brittis, come quickly. It's Colin. He's up on the roof. On the roof? <laughs> Colin! It's for the best, Mr. Brittus. Don't do it, Colin. I've cleaned and pressed my uniform. I've given the urinals a final hose down and changed the toilet tucks in the ladies. Oh, and I've ordered a skip, so there won't be any mess. <laughs> Colin, come back. I shall miss you, Mr. Brittus. It's all right, Colin. You're not going to lose your job. What? It's all over. I'm sending the computer back. Oh, Mr. Brittus! <laughs> Seems like we're back to normal. Oh, I won't speak too soon. It's so good to be back, Mr. Brittas. Thank you, Colin. 